We roll into week four. I'll show you tennis, kickball, and football. Don't believe me? Just stay tuned. 2020 has been crazy enough. Let's give you even more madness. Crosstown rivals collide. Arrowhead at Oconomowoc. Big throws and big arms in this one. Max Bredesen takes the top off the defense with Elijah Maher Parr. He outruns everyone. The Warhawks are looking powerful again. Not to be outdone, Oconomowoc would have Jack Hellman bomb it up to Kane Harpster, who outleaps two defenders, but Arrowhead wins going away 59-17. Our friends at WVTV My24 have the monster matchup. Waukesha West at McGuanago. Wolverine CJ Grissar cuts it up inside, gets Waukesha West within three. 10-7 midway through the second, but McGuanago is powerful this year too. Just before the half, Grayton Gannon to a falling Max Braun, but he's got it. McGuanago beats Waukesha West 23-13. The win to factor is Shoreland Lutheran travels to perennial power Lake Country Lutheran LCL with shifty quarterback Luke Hurdle. But Shoreland Lutheran is scrappy Hurdle part picked off by Connor Hill who high points the ball like a receiver and the Lightning striking again. Stephen Connell won't be denied Lake Country Lutheran in a blowout of the Lutheran rivals 62 21. How about three games in one at Hart Park? A little tennis on the courts anyone when Tosa East hosts New Berlin Eisenhower. Then a kickball game breaks out on the softball diamond just a few feet away from the field. But on the gridiron, Tosa East rules the night. Third and two on the 31, Maurice Roquette blasts off and in. Holds that ball out, crossing the goal line. Tosa East rolls 43 zip. Kettle Moraine at Waukesha South. Quarterback Jordan McNello rolling right past us down the left sideline. And the black shirts are in business, but it's lasers focused tonight. Kettle Moraine's Chase Spellman. Nice ball to Matt Wagner for six. McNello would roll out and find a diving Ezekiel Diaz, but Kettle Moraine victorious tonight, the final 50 to 21. Tosa West at New Berlin West. The Trojans, Ethan Peplinski blocks the punt and watch Alec White pick it up, start weaving through the Vikings. Keeps going, keeps going, get some blocks for six. New Berlin West though comes back. Carson Rose finds Bill Wesolowski for a nice score. But Tosa West has their own aerial attack. Avery Dixon to the touchdown maker, Alec White. And Tosa West has no problems winning 50 to seven. In our next segment of the frenzy, Parkland Pride on the line, former team of the week, Grafton and legendary powerhouse, Waukesha Catholic Memorial. Stay with us. And welcome back to the frenzy. Delaney Bry always seems to have some great games tonight. Pride in the Parkland is on the line, former team of the week, Grafton. And the team that's always good, Waukesha Catholic Memorial. It's the big game. It's week four of high school football in Lance. I am serving up highlights like the U.S. Postal Service through rain, sleet, and snow. Even saw a little hail down in Waukesha South. Now I'm here at Waukesha North watching Grafton take on Catholic Memorial. It was 21-7 going into the second half. Catholic Memorial on top, and they'd be the first to score in the third quarter as well. It's going to be Rory Fox hitting it off to O.B. Allen. Number two puts in six. He'd end the night with five scores, including this one. Another Fox to O.B. Allen connection. Hey, my fault on the camera work. You win some, you lose some when people get in front of you. Am I right? Catholic Memorial on the move again this time. Fox with a little fake and go to number 24. Alex Oshner into your living room, folks. Watch out. Catholic Memorial gets a giant 42 to 7 victory after coming off a loss in week three. Here's head coach Bill Young. It was great. You know, we were uh, really flat last week. Uh, didn't have the uh, intensity we needed to do uh, to have a great evening. We came out, we had great prep all week long. And I can't credit our kids enough, but that's how you have to play if you want to be uh, having a winning football program. Bill Forever Young with the grandkids, love it. And our reigning team of the week, Whitefish Bay, a little bit of a scare, but they did hang on to beat Slinger 10-zip. We're back after this.